Hello kids, I'm here for you again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to multiply numbers that are closer to 100 together. Either greater than 100 or less than 100. So I have chosen three set of numbers at random. You can see the first set are all less than 100. The second set are all greater than 100. And the last set are the combination of two numbers the first one is greater than 100, while the second one is less than 100. So, let's begin with the first one. Um, if you examine these two numbers, this one is less than 100 by 2. So you write minus 2 here, just below it, because it is less than 100 by 2. While this one is less than 100 by 13 so it is 13 less than 100 this is the first thing to do secondly if you realize something adding either this number or this number you will get the same value 87 minus 2 will give us 80 85 likewise 98 minus 30 will give us the same value. But remember we are dealing with 100, so we add extra two zeros in front. This is the first step. Second step, multiply these two numbers together. Multiply them together. Minus times minus will give us plus. Then two times um, 13 is 26. This 26 added to this number. So if I add 26 here, I will get 8526. Therefore, 8526 is the result after multiplying 98 by 87. Now let us take the next one. These two numbers are greater than 100. This one is greater by 8. This is why we have plus here. You can see this one is less than this, is why we have a negative sign. It's 8 more than 100, while this number is 20 more than 100. Either by adding these two numbers, you get the same value. 120 plus 8 will give us 128. Likewise, 108 plus 20 will give us the same value. Remember, we are dealing with 100 as two extra zeros here. Next, multiply 8 by 20 together. You can see 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 2 is 16. You see we have 160. This 160 added here. 160, we are adding 0, 6, 9, 2, 1. So we have 12,960 after multiplying uh, 108 by 120. Now let us take the last one. Um, in the last one you can see is the combination of two numbers. The first one is greater than while the second one is less than. This one is 15 greater than 100. But this one is 5 less than 100. Alright. We can do it at random. If we like we add this to this or this to this. If you add 115 to negative 5, it's just like subtracting 5 from 115. Uh, this will give us 110. Remember our extra two zeros, add them here. Next, multiply these two numbers together. Uh, forget about minus 4 now. Let us first of all multiply the numbers. You can see 5 times 5 is 25, but normally you know we add 5 and keep 2 aside, you know we have 2 extra. Then 5 times 1 is 5 plus that 2 is 7. We have, but minus times plus is minus, so we have minus 75 after multiplying these two numbers. Now, uh, instead of adding, you subtract, because this value is what we add here. As always, you can see this is positive, this is positive, but this is negative. This time around we subtract. We subtract 75 here. This is subtraction. Uh, if you take one bundle to the first number, this becomes 10 because what you are borrowing is 10. Uh, 10 minus 5 is 5. We have 9 left here. 
9 minus 7 is 2. Uh, this is 9 minus nothing. Remember, we have taken this bundle, so we have 0 here, and this is 1. Finally, we have 10,925 after multiplying 115 by 95. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. And you can try this method for all different set of numbers that are greater than 100 or less than 100 together. Thank you.